What's up, it's Kyle Lasker. Make sure you tune in 8 p.m. to Real Fans, Real Talk with Rising 44 every Thursday. Shout out to Ladybug, shout out to everybody. RealTalk.com, where Arthur Diamond, Trip Young, and Intern Tom for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. Hello, everyone. Mark the Statman, Skevich, Real Fans, Real Talk here at the conclusion of the second annual Kicks for Confidence Family on Three with the one and only DJ Zeke on the ones and twos. <laughs> DJ Zeke, uh, you're laughing now. Uh, 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 I, just want, I just want to thank my mama, Auntie Tina. I just love everybody. It's a legendary. No, really, man, it's, it's about a great cause, Family on Three. I remember when uh, Mason was telling me about this organization a few years ago, and he turns this, like, hardship into an amazing organization to help the people, and I love it. And it's crazy because sometimes I run into him in D.C. when he's giving back, in D.C. giving a check to um, Howard University. It's fantastic. I love what he's doing, and I'm always going to be here for him. Like, if he needs me to donate time, I'm here. Now, now you you call me the MVP when I came up to bat. Welcome to Kansas. I like to say, you're the real MVP <laughs> for coming out. You will. No, the reason I donate my time because St. John's is how I initially started my, my path. Now I'm in Europe, now I'm touring, making, you know, thank God I'm making money, all because I came to St. John's and people allowed me to be great. They blessed me with, you know, time, energy, so now I'm able to give my time and energy back to the people. Definitely. Now a lot of people want to be DJs and stuff and, uh, you know, pretty, pretty generic question, but made, what made you decide that you wanted to be a DJ? I never decided to be a DJ. I never wanted to. I'm a... I love entertaining people. I started in my church. So in my church, it allowed me to do the sound ministry. Um, somebody wanted me to do that quinceanera, and it started from that. And then my first party ever was in the Silver Hall, fourth floor. And uh, I love, you don't need a music in order to entertain, but it allows me to entertain, and I love entertaining people. But thankfully, DJing allows you to travel around the world for free, so I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I know what it's like to entertain people. I like to entertain people no matter what I'm doing, whether it's a sports show or out here getting hit in the head. Not intentionally, but, you know, everyone got a good laugh out of it, so it, it, it was cool. But uh, you started at, here at St. John's DJing, and then next thing you know, you're, you're throwing parties all over different colleges, Brown University. And what, what was that like to see your, your career gradually grow? It went from... DJing by myself or now having a team of DJs and now they're bringing in money for me. I, I work with Netflix as a music supervisor and DJ trainer. I don't know if you saw the show The Get Down with Baz Luhrmann, um, Jaden Smith, Shameek Moore. I was a trainer of that show. So now now I got my TV credit for the first time, season one to season two. I DJ for Apple, Red Bull, PwC, countless firms, Target. So DJing has allowed me to you know, travel the world and make a lot of money doing it. And I don't really do clubs like that because I think it's a waste of time. I think corporate money is great, college money is great, and private events is great. You mentioned Red Bull. They had an actual DJ competition, the DJ 3? Three, 3 style. I know this. He's good. That's what I'm talking about. He's a good interviewer. Like, he did his research. It happened about three years ago. Um, it changed. It literally changed my life. Winning that competition in New York, it led me to host um, the 3 styles nationwide and it was incredible i got to i was in a red bull van and they had me city to city hosting and djing incredible what's next for dj zeke what, what do you have lined up uh, so we have i just got back from switzerland so we have another european tour with an artist named gashi i work with gashi uh right now he's like one of the top on spotify and he's not signed so he's getting over two million plays a month uh, every month so it's incredible just to go city to city for free DJ and get paid. It's, so that's what I'm doing now. And on, on, the, on the side, too, I still have my company that I'm running. So starting at St. John's and now we're here. There you go. Uh, similar to the drink line. All right, DJ Zeke in the building here at the second annual Kicks for Confidence. Family on three. Shout out to all the sponsors. Petro, of course. Uh, junior MBA. The Ewing. A uh, lot of... Lot of sponsors out here got to make sure we shot them out make sure you're checking out real fans real talk on realfansrealtalk.com i'm mark the statman skevich thank you all for joining us we'll see you later
He's a legend. Stay tuned to Mark. Everything that Mark does, you make sure you follow this man because he's a legend. Look at him. Legendary. He's a legend. Every time you hear Mark, put legend in front of it. Legend Mark. Thanks again, everyone. Real fans, real talk.